Who has been the most important person in your life? Probably my grandmother. What was the happiest moment of your life? Do you have to be happy or just live? Basically, happy is a very interesting term. Happiest moment? That's a good question. I'm not a sad person. I'm not a happy person. I just enjoy living. Thank you. Hmm. Uh, who has been the biggest influence on your life? Probably my grandmother and my Uncle Ken, who was a judge. Uh, those two people both had were unique in a particular sense. Who has been the kindest to you in your life? Kindest? I don't think people are necessarily kind. They can be honest. I would prefer that over the word kind. Kind? What does kind mean? Who gives you the most room to cut your own throat? Who cuts your throat or doesn't cut your throat? Life is a game. You play it for the fullest. But there's no such thing as the kindest person, if you really think about that term. What are the most important lessons you've learned in life? Basically, when I was graduating from high school, the principal would blame me for something that I was innocent of. And he told me to go read a particular quote by Emerson. A man who loses wealth loses nothing. A man who loses health loses little. A man who loses honor loses everything. This was not for my benefit, but it, the principal never, or actually he never realized that that was a very unique quote and a good way to live. What is your earliest memory? Earliest memory? I have been told that I saw a lot of things like a flood way back in the Dark Ages, which I don't remember. Uh, I saw many, many things which really weren't really that significant. Probably the most memorable that I recall was December 7th, 1941, when I was going for a ride with my uncle and my family on the Pennsylvania Turnpike and they announced Pearl Harbor. That I remember a lot of the details of, and I was probably five or six at that point. What is your favorite memory? Yeah, I have no favorite memory. I have a lot of memories, some good, some bad, some interesting, some not so interesting. Are there any funny stories your family tells about you? Not really. My family were very unique, uh, very, very family-oriented in my upbringing. Uh, I, for my generation and time and family background, uh, there were no real, there was just a lot of memories of growing up and generally trying to do what was right and enjoy life. What are you proudest of? That I would rather not discuss because who knows, you can be proud of something that you shouldn't be proud of. I just try to do what I think is right and that is all you can do. When in life have you felt most alone? <clears throat> that is a good question. However, I am not a Although I appear social, I am not really that social. So therefore, a lot of my thoughts are in my own mind and in my own soul. So therefore, what do you say? I'm always alone. If you could hold on to one memory from your life forever, what would it be? I would not want to select any number because I have good and bad memories. Uh, I would not try to put a weight on anything. The day they threw me out of high school, the day they threw me out of college, uh, the day they threw me out of basic officers, the day uh, I got married twice over, uh, who is to say? 
You hold on to all good memories, you hold on to the bad. How has your life been different than what you'd imagined it would be? That is, an, that is more than an interesting question. When I was growing up, much like the youth today, I didn't know where I was going. Much like the youth today, I had no idea where I was going. But I learned a little principle, kismet, faith, that which will be, will be. And try to be the best person you can. That's all you can say. How would you like to be remembered? That is interesting. Whether my first true love, who loved me, but I was still conceited, so therefore we went our separate ways. Whether I just want to be remembered as a good person, that's all you can ask. And whether I want to be remembered as a good person, that is what I might like but not everybody is going to consider me a good person. All you can do is try to be the best person you can. And that's what I'd like to be remembered for. Do you have any regrets? Many, many, many regrets. Everybody should have some regrets. Anybody who says, I jokingly tell my daughter, my wife, etc., I am perfect. I am right. And more times than not, I'm right. However, there's no such thing as right or wrong. It's all in the perspective. What does your future hold? At my age, there's one thing, and it's not good. Whether there's a life after death, who knows? Uh, I am an agnostic, therefore I am able to, and also epistemology teaches, if you doubt, you are able to know. Who knows what fate is? holds, whether there's a life after death, who knows? I just hope that I've led the best life I could have, and the most enjoyable and done the less harm to other people. What are your hopes for what the future holds for you? What my hopes are, I'm afraid I'm going to be sadly disappointed with the people and the world today. In short, I'm a cynic. Uh, I believe I'm a Harry Truman liberal. I believe in fiscal responsibility. The buck stops with at the pr appropriate place and things of that nature. And unfortunately, people seem to have forgotten what is right or wrong. If this was to be our very last conversation, is there anything you'd want to say to me? <sighs> you really want me to answer? I will tell you one thing. Be your own man. Make your own thoughts and realize one thing. Parents, your mother is a great woman, your father is, a, in one respect, he's as opinionated as I am. Just be your own person and not your father's, your mother's, or anybody else's. Is there any wisdom you'd want to pass on to your great, great grandchildren? <sighs> I could only pass it on to my grandchildren because they think that they are so intelligent, which they are, I will say one thing, that intelligence knows no bounds. No people are more intelligent than the others and respect other people. And basically, respect others. And don't think you're any better off or better than anyone else that walks this earth. Is there anything that you've never told me but want to tell me now? No. Nope. Some things I would never tell anyone. They're, I am a private person, only I know what I think and how I think. I would never condemn myself for how I think. I think I try to think logically, however I will say this. All I can tell people in your generation and younger than me, be the best person you can and enjoy life. Is there something about me that you've always wanted to know but have never asked? No, because I'm probably thumbing your pages, and you don't want me to. As I say, I'm the dumbest in my family, but I have a fairly, I can thumb pages. All right, thanks for...
tell us about yourself and your thoughts and opinions. And have a good life.